My name's Andy Hargreaves. I'm the Thomas More Brennan Chair in Education at Boston College. And I'm delighted to be here with my colleagues, uh, Professor Dennis Shirley, also from uh, Boston College, and Professor Pakti, who's from the National Institute of Education in Singapore. Uh, we're here neither by chance nor by accident, but because we're all involved together in a Routledge uh, book series called Leading Change. We're trying to launch the examples of uh, systems and schools gaining academic achievement. You can do that by narrowing the curriculum, by putting more pressure on educators, by uh, any number of different strategies to push up achievement. So the part of the, the subtitle which relates to achievement with integrity is really the focus of the book. How can we work as educators and we educate our students as whole human beings to be internationally aware, to be good environmental stewards, to be conscientious, moral people in their everyday lives. And in the book I go through and I discuss a number of old imperatives of educational change which we are going to have to overthrow if we want to move towards a more promising area of inclusion, democracy, and broad participation in education. Every book, I suppose, is a, is a summary of um, one's thinking at a particular moment in time. And this book, for me, is an effort to respond to the tipping point that we're in right now in world history. If we really want to raise a new generation of leaders who will take on the challenges of climate change, insularity among nations, focusing excessively on ideologies and not enough on evidence, then we're going to have to think quite deeply and quite broadly about how we would redesign our systems. Singapore started as a country of poverty, social unrest, back in the 1960s. Today, we are a country which is much better off, having an education system that hopefully is admired by many people. But not only do I want to bring the inside story, it is a story in which, paradoxically, Singapore is a land where, on the one hand, we have very good examination results. On the other hand, we are actually moving away from this focus on examination results. On the one hand, we are, according to PISA, some of the best problem solvers in the world. On the other hand, we are actually trying very hard to develop the creativity of our, our students. And I think some of these paradoxes are precisely the things that I will bring to the world to get a much better idea of what Singapore is all about. I think one of the main messages in the book, main messages in the book is this. Paradoxes are not to be feared. In Singapore, we find that paradoxes are very important. Paradoxes are precisely the creative tensions that drive change. To us, education is investment. It's not expenditure. And therefore, to us, investing in education is an imperative. And we always remind ourselves that the spirit of education in Singapore is about teachers being people who plant trees so that some other people can sit underneath those trees and no one will remember who planted those trees in the first place. And that is the spirit of education in Singapore.